Hello everyone, welcome to Discover This. Today we're going to talk about the life of actor Victor Buono and his time here in San Diego, even after he became famous in Hollywood, and where he's laid to rest. And so let's go get started. So Victor Buono was born in San Diego on February 3rd, 1938, and he grew up in a neighborhood very much like this one. And early in his life, his grandmother had encouraged an interest in acting and entertainment. And his grandmother had been in vaudeville, so she had it in her blood, I guess. And she taught him how to sing and recite in front of an audience. Now, as he was growing up and going to elementary school and all that, you know, he kind of had a thought in the back of his mind of becoming or going to medical school and um, doing something in the medical profession. But his grandmother kept encouraging him with, you know, singing and entertaining. And he kind of fell in love with that. Now, Victor Bono went to high school here at St. Augustine High School, and this is where he graduated from. But while he was here, he got involved in many of the high school theater performances, and he also soon began appearing on local radio and television stations. And by the time he was 18, shortly before he graduated here, he started doing performances at the Old Globe Theater and ended up joining the famous Globe Theater Players at 18. So at the Old Globe, Victor Bono was cast in many Shakespeare plays and other classics. And he ended up catching the eye of the then director, Craig Noel, who kept giving him more prestigious parts and just kind of took him under his wing, basically. And in 1959, uh, Victor Bono was cast in a Shakespeare play and he played the part of Falstaff. And at that 1959 performance, there was a talent agent from Warner Brothers Studios in the audience. And after the performance, he came and asked Victor Bono if he'd like to go up to Hollywood and do a screen test. So Victor Bono went up to Hollywood, did the screen test, and shortly thereafter, he was on an episode of 77 Sunset Strip. So in, uh, in the next 16 months, Victor Bono was cast in 49 different television shows, which is, seems like quite a lot. But his schedule was that he would film during the day up, up in LA and Hollywood, and then he would get on a plane and fly back to San Diego, and then he would perform here at the Old Globe in the evening. And in some instances, he would change his makeup on the flight uh, down from L.A. to San Diego. So in 1957, Victor Bono was cast in an episode of Perry Mason. Then he made his motion picture debut in the 1962 film, Whatever Happened to Baby Jane. And Victor Bono was cast as Edwin Flagg, and he earned an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor. Now, if you get onto Scott Michaels and the Dearly Departed channel, uh, he just did a filming location video of whatever happened to Baby Jane. And I encourage you to watch that. So in 1964, he was cast as the lead in the movie The Strangler. And he also had a few other movies he was associated with, some, some good, some bad. He was also cast in such TV shows as Wild Wild West in 1965, Get Smart in 1965. He was cast in I Spy in 1965. And then, probably his most famous role, or the one that most people associate with him, he was cast as King Tut in the Batman TV series in 1966. 
He was also cast in Beneath the Planet of the Apes in 1970. And he was on The Odd Couple, 1975. Here's Lucy. He appeared on The Tonight Show a few times. He also found the time to do a record album and write a book. Now I believe his final casting was as Jim Ignatowski's father on the TV show Taxi. And he made a number of appearances as Jim's dad, but Victor Buono died before Taxi finished its run on TV. And the part of Jim's father went to another actor for the final season of Taxi. Then on January 1st, 1982, Victor Buono was found dead from a heart attack at his ranch in Apple Valley in San Bernardino County. He was found by his caretaker. So Victor Bono was cremated and his funeral was held Tuesday, January 5th, 1982 at St. Cyprian's Roman Catholic Church in Long Beach, California. And then on January 7th, 1982, his cremains were then brought here to Greenwood Memorial Park in San Diego And he was interred here. So when he was brought here to Greenwood Memorial Park, he was interred along with his mother, Myrtle. And for whatever reason, the family has never put Victor's name on on the crypt here. So it's just his mother's name, but he was interred along with her. Now this is the uh, Lily of the Lake section of the cemetery. And if you look up, uh, find a grave, it says that Myrtle and Victor uh, look out over the lake and over the grave of Victor's father, also named Victor. However, um, that's not true. Victor's father is actually buried in a mausoleum uh, on the other side of the cemetery. Uh, if, you can, if this is the south end, he's on the north end. Uh, and you have to, uh, once you get up to that mausoleum, you have to call and they will send somebody down to open it up for you. But this is where Victor Bono's laid to rest in San Diego. So that's the story, ladies and gentlemen, of Victor Bono's life and where he's laid to rest in San Diego. So I hope you enjoyed it. And we will see you next time on Discover This.